Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put some text on the bottom of your pawn, um, just so we can identify whose this is. So the first thing we need to do is go to the bottom view of this drawing. After we go to the bottom view, over here to the side somewhere, we need to put in some text. We're going to use single line text, so we're going to use D text. We're going to go DT for D text. We're going to pick our start point. Height of the text, we're going to set to 0.18. Um, just from experience, we know that 0.18 works pretty nicely with our 3D printer and prints and turns out nicely. Rotation angle, we're going to leave at zero, so we're going to hit enter there. And we're going to put your two initials for your name in capital letters. So I'm going to go DW for me. Enter, enter, and there we go. Now, the first thing we notice about this text is it's awful thin, kind of skinny text. Um, if I measure the width here of this letter D from there to there, it measures, whoops, can't see that very well. It measures 0 0.023, uh, which is pretty thin. Um, what we want to do is we want to make that a little bit thicker. To make it thicker, we're going to make it a bold text. To turn it into a bold text, we're going to type style, S-T-Y-L-E. And on style, only thing we're going to change, we're going to leave it to Arial, which is the default. We're going to change it to just bold and go apply. Now when you do that, notice that text is much fatter, much thicker. And we're going to come in here and measure that from about there to about there. And we get it's almost 0 0.04 inches, um, so which is pretty good. So that's going to make it uh, appear nicely. The next thing we're going to do, when we're trying to do text, we can't extrude this. We can't make this text into a solid. What we have to do is we have to explode the text. If, re if you don't remember, that is up here underneath the Express Tools. We're going to click on that button at the top. We're going to come over here to Modify Text and down to Explode. On Explode, we're going to pick our text, hit Enter, and that explodes that text apart. It turns it into a bunch of polylines. <clears throat> First step I like to do here is I like to region all of this. That turns it into regions. And then this text is not going to be moved at all, so I'm going to just union it all together. So we're going to go union and union all this as one. So now it's all one thing, and I can extrude it. And I'm going to extrude it more than what I need. I'm going to just go 0.1. So I extruded that text at 0.1. I'm going to turn that up in 3D a little bit, and there I see my text that has some thickness to it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this text. Oops, and I separated it. That's weird. Ah, I'm going to reunion it back together, just because it makes it all into one thing. Union. Let me try that again. There we go. So now I'm going to extrude this text. Or I, I'm going to move this text. I'm going to move it from this bottom back side, or sorry, the top back side of the letter D. This is right there, that corner on the back of the letter D. And I'm going to move it down here to that corner right there. So now it's setting right there on the surface of the base of this um, guy. I'm going to go down back to the bottom view. And now really all you need to do is get that centered up. We don't run it right there in that corner. So I'm going to move this text. Just visually approximately centered. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not going to grade you on your letter being centered up perfectly. So get it right about there. That looks pretty sharp. And now I'm going to look at this and see what it looks like here. All right. So there's my text sticking down 0.1 inches. <clears throat> I actually don't want it sticking down 0.1 inches. I actually want it to be cut into the tech, or into it. So I'm going to go move, and I'm going to move this stuff in, and I'm going to move it straight up 0 0.05 inches. All right, hey guys. Okay, so now, sorry, I was interrupted there for a bit. Um, so now this text, um, I think I just moved it up there, in there. Yes, I think it's inset in now. So now we're just going to use subtract, and we're going to subtract that text out of the base of there, and now if we look at that, we have a nice DW set into the bottom of our pawn. The reason we do this, the years that I don't have people do this, every year um, I have all the pawns printed out, you know, 90 some of them, <clears throat> and with all those pawns printed out, somebody almost always takes somebody else's pawn because it looks similar to theirs. So now with initials in the bottom of these, it's going to be a little bit more um, a little bit easier for people to, to, to identify whose or which pawn is theirs. All right, very good. That's it.